Hi, hope you're doing good. So today I'm be going through all the books on my physical TBR that I want to be reading for Summerween or just horrors this summer. Not all of them are like summer themed, I don't think. Okay, first of all, it's like a murder mystery, I think. I think this book was made into a TV show, right, with Reese Witherspoon, which like automatically I want to read it so bad. One woman comes to town and she's been carrying a secret for five years. She's got a young son. She basically enrolls into school. Then she ends up becoming friends with these two other women who also have kids. And I'm assuming all the kids become friends or something happens between the kids. I think they form a friendship and it says at the end, it was all Always gonna end in tears but how did it end in murder i just think the cover is so beachy and cool it'll be so perfect this summer just the very light-heartedness and drama and mystery that this is giving i'm very excited for it next up i have the wives by taryn fisher i get all my books to like charity shops the works and i never take off the stickers until i do a video and i sit down and bring it up and then i take off the sticker finally taryn fisher okay i know that she wrote the woman in the window and i really upset myself because i've always wanted to read the woman in the window i ended up watching the movie and the movie was so good but now i can't read the book because i know what happened so it'd be much of a shock factor a bunch of women who are supposedly married to the same man and it just seems very much like an obsession that the main character goes through with these other wives and apparently they're all split up so i'm not sure if he has like seven wives because she said you only get one day of the week with him so he might have seven wives i'm not sure but basically he only sees you one day of the week so i think this girl's day is thursday she knows about the other wives but i think she doesn't dig deep or anything like that because you're just meant to be happy with the fraction that you get from him until she starts getting more obsessed with the other wives and she's like okay who are they what days do they get and then apparently she finds monday who is covered in bruise and she's like is that coming from my husband or someone else and she becomes obsessed with these wives i'm assuming it's gonna be a bit of a thriller it just sounds again really cool for the summer like a fast-paced thriller drama just to read at the beach which sounds really fun and then we have the iconic the shining so i'm participating in summerween and last summerween i read carrie by stephen king kind of am debating whether or not reading this for summerween his writing is very unique he's obviously a massive classic however I didn't like the movie. I sort of thought it was very boring. And so I'm not entirely sure if I'll like this. Okay, it does sound kind of cool. So basically, there's this little boy called Danny, I think. And he can basically, like, he's a psychic. He can see things. He gets visions. And his dad ends up becoming a caretaker of this massive hotel. And they have to basically say that over the winter. They get snowed in and spooky things start happening. So he keeps seeing a woman in 217. He keeps seeing the hedges come alive. Everything just seems very, like, suspicious and full of horror in this hotel. Which I think already, a massive empty hotel is so creepy it gives and um, the back rooms vibes just massive rooms that are empty like it's very scary i think actually no maybe maybe i will read this i'm not sure it sounds really good then i have a history of wild places by shaya shaya earnshaw this sounds like a really cool interesting kind of a weird little horrory mystery sort of thing so this woman i think ends up going missing in this pastoral community i think that's what it's called it's very much like culty vibes so she goes there she goes missing this investigator or some sort of jealous or someone who wants to investigate what happened to her he then goes there and he brings all his equipment with him his van everything like that he goes there and then he goes missing as well and all that's left behind is his van and then years later the guy who is a member of this pastoral community he sees this and he's like okay what happened here and it basically follows him i'm assuming uncovering what is going on why these people are going missing and it's just interesting because it gives kind of the sinner vibes have you guys watched that series um the first season is genuinely unmatched it's one of the most amazing seasons i've ever watched it's creepy it's weird but it's so brilliant i will always recommend it if you love horrors um and thrillers and mysteries it's one of the best things i've ever watched the second season is completely different and it's about this kind of cult vibes and for some reason this is giving that i'm very excited for that next up i have gone girl by jenny and flynn i need to read this i have to read this like i've been waiting way too long for this after this one my sister has then recommended i think dark places and sharp objects so i need to basically hope and read this and then hope and read the next two because apparently she's just an amazing author for thrillers i think i want to say i'm not sure if they are horrors but all i know is how iconic this girl is i don't want to spoil what happens in it for me so all i know is a very very toxic relationship between this girl and this husband it's very much female rage it's very much a psycho girl and it just sounds so good okay so i think it's a mystery of what happened to his wife kind of a bit of like she said he said sort of thing i think that's what it's like next up is pretty girls by karen slaughter so i've actually owned this book for years like i've had it in my collection since i was like young i've recently been seeing karen slaughter like everywhere this girl at uni kept recommended recommending karen slaughter to me i was like i recognize that name i recognize that game and then she eventually recommended pretty girls and i was like oh my god i know her i've got that book apparently karen slaughter's writing style is quite dark um and that's why she recommended it to me because i recommended her a lucy foley book and so i think that's why she recommended it to me i don't always love dark writing in thrillers because it gets quite depressing it's just as long as it's entertaining i don't really mind so it says 20 years ago claire scott's elder sister julia went missing it was a mystery that never that was never
never solved and it tore her family apart. Now, another girl has disappeared with chilling echoes of the past and Claire is convinced that Julie's disappearance is linked. But when she begins to learn the truth about her sister, she's confronted with a shocking discovery and nothing will ever be the same. So it seems, oh, it seems quite interesting, like pretty girls going missing. So it's a mystery, maybe a little bit of a thriller and it's all focused on girls. I love it when books focus on girls and like, I just think it's so interesting and cool and unbeatable when you focus on women or girls as like just main characters and have like really toxic friendships or nice friendships or just like the epitome of being girls whether it's weird or heartbreaking or whatever i just love it and so i think this might be very interesting and then i was looking at some of like the scariest books out there just so i can try to add it to my my tbr for summerween i saw this and i was like there's no way because i've had that my entire life and i think i tried to read it when i was younger and i got bored of it so i'm like interested now to think like i think i got this from wh smith's like years ago you can actually see the sticker on it i'm not sure yeah i remember reading this it's really creepy like really weird like not creepy just weird and he said it was like the creepiest book that he read so and it was like on an article so i'm interested to see i'm just gonna add it to the tbr just in case so it basically says the girl who wouldn't die kirby is lucky she, she survived the attack she is sure that what other victims less fortunate the evidence she finds is impossible hunting a killer who shouldn't exist harper stalks his shining girls through the years and cuts the spark out of them but what if the one that got away came back for him oh what that sounds kind of interesting so it's a thriller and i'm assuming that through the years this guy i think he must like murder girls and he calls them his shining girls eventually one ends up getting away and then this girl i think she's gonna come back for him what does that mean like hunt him down it sounds very interesting and i might read what that guy said about this and see because i didn't i just saw the photo i was like shut up i have that book and that was kind of it for me i didn't actually read what he said about it so i wonder what is creepy maybe like the stalking i'm not sure but i've got it on my tv i've got the book so i might as well read it at some point because then i can like get rid of it if i don't like it so yeah got that hi sorry so i've lost the second part of this video i don't know where it went the lighting is kind of bad because hot as hell and like this is early in the morning basically so like the sun is directly on me so i've had to like close the blinds a bit also another thing i do include like a winter book in this like i included the shining and that's like a massive like winter book i am kind of second guessing including that i want to try and read more stephen king and i've got that book so it's like a classic so i do want to read it but then like i think i might delay that until winter but i'm gonna keep it on the video okay so first up is peter swanson's rules for perfect murder this basically sounds really interesting and fun i think there's this guy who writes rules for like perfect murder basically there's this guy who writes a list of his eight favorite murders like in literature i'm assuming so it's got the secret history abc murders and then years later he is basically swept up into an fbi investigation because someone out there is reenacting these eight murders his eight perfect murders that he enjoyed in literature the police are having to investigate him and trying to figure out maybe who's doing it i am now just realizing that if i want to read this i feel like i probably need to read the abc murders first and the secret history because obviously like it's probably gonna have spoilers for them right so abc murders i can do i have that here so i have the abc murders here so i can for sure read this i'm assuming this summer that'd be fun um because i've never actually done an agatha christie book for summerween or in the summer i don't think i have so I'm excited i have a bunch of agatha christie books that i can get to i also have death on the nile which i watched the movie for on disney and i actually really enjoyed it so i feel like it'd be quite fun to read this in the summer i think it's basically everyone's on this massive like rich person's like cruise ship around the Nile and someone ends up dead and obviously everyone's a suspect on this ship and it's a whole bunch of drama and mystery and secrets. I love Hercule Poirot. I think he's one of the best characters ever. I really enjoy him in the books. However, in the movies, like the most recent movies, I love how camp he is. I just love it. It gives the exact same vibe as Daniel Craig in, in Knives Out, which I think is fun. I love it. Um, I'm very excited to read this one. And then ABC Matters. I have no idea what this is even about. Okay, so basically there's a serial killer going around who's been leaving a bunch of like taunting clues for her corpore and it goes in abc i'm assuming the people that have been murdered so far mrs asher and andover so it goes like aa bb cc the name begins with a and then the place of the room begins with a and there's betty barnard in bex hill sir carmichael clark in charleston i don't think i'll be reading the secret history this summer that's more of an autumn thing so i might have to hopefully i'm gonna search and see if it's got any spoilers if you know if this has any spoilers for any of the books that discuss it is, please can you let me know because if it doesn't i'm just gonna read it then i have this is like a whole bunch of stickers i got from charity shop so like it's just sticker upon sticker upon sticker i think this has been given up like a million times this is the woman in cabin 10 by ruth Ware. this is basically a nordic cruise ship murder essentially so there's this girl one night hears a really like strange sounds she's like what the hell she looks out of her balcony and then sees that her neighbor literally throws someone over the edge of the cruise ship like over the balcony into the water okay so obviously i think she like reports like a oh, murder or like i'm missing like someone's missing or something like that and they investigate the room next door and find out that no one's been staying there everyone's like what's happened i'm not sure if they know who's gone missing like who's been 
chuck to overboard i'm not sure if they know that but it sounds very fun i love ruth by like i've read one by one by her and that was really really good i gave that five stars hopefully this will be just as good again this is a bunch of charity shop stickers on it i literally just peeled off one sticker to find another one underneath that was crazy but basically this is the last to vanish by megan miranda i've seen megan miranda everywhere and i'm pretty sure someone read this for summer Ween last year i think it might be in books and all that but i'm not sure and this is basically a really creepy like small town vibe basically this girl has been living in this really small town um for i think like 10 years she really enjoys it so basically this small town is right next to this massive like appalachian trail so like appalachian mountains and every so often people go missing in this trail so basically because of all these like string of disappearances this journalist comes along and he tries to investigate it but then he goes missing so she's like what is going on then the brother turns up he starts asking questions she finds that everyone that she thought was kind of like her community has started kind of like closing ranks becoming more secretive and apparently she finds some incriminating evidence then i have the husband's secret which i feel like will go nice with big little lies if i want to read any of them so this is by leanne moriarty who i found out recently i think is australian i think i thought that was cool so this is basically about a woman who is i'm mostly like the perfect housewife vibe um she has a husband she has three kids and basically one day i think she's going through the attic and she finds this letter and this letter is basically addressed to her saying if i die like open this up in this letter is like a massive massive secret i don't know if, so this one it gives i think this is a throw up but i don't know whether it's gonna be like he, he killed someone or whether it's just like drama but it's still kind of thrilling i think so she finds a secret and she's like oh my god like like this bigger secret like i now know it and he can't know that i know and i can't tell anyone because it's a secret i think that she's gonna struggle with either telling someone or keeping it to herself and i'm just interested in how they can make such a kind of biggish book on a secret so it better be a juicy one so i'm excited for that then lastly we have behind closed doors by ba paris i have seen this all over tiktok i found this in a charity shop so i was like why not i'll pick it up so basically for this one i just want to read the blurb because like it's done so well it's so cool it basically made me really really excited to read it so it says everyone knows a couple like jack and grace he has looks and mouth she has charm and elegance you might not want to like them but you do you like to get to know grace better but it's difficult because you realize they're never apart some might call this true love others might ask why grace never answers the phone or can't meet for lunch without jack and why there are bars on one of the bedroom windows sometimes a perfect marriage is a perfect lie that sounds so cool so like i really want to read this like i just love domestic thrillers sometimes yeah i don't know i'm really excited i'm so excited about this like massive pile that i've got apart from the stephen king book i feel like these would be good ones to read during the summer because they don't have like distinct seasons i'm participating in summerween so i think it'd be really fun to try and read all of these books summerween at least some of them however there's lots on that i have like on audiobooks that i want to read as well so it might be a bit of a struggle because i do love reading like hardcore like horrors i don't have any horrors here it's nice to know i've got a good like thriller pile but i do really want to read horrors so i might be making a horror tbr if i can before summerween but i'm not sure if that's going to be possible i might just have to go straight into summerween and read some of the book i'm really excited for this summer because i can just bang these all out like at the beach and stuff i'm just so excited please let me know any of the books that you guys are reading for either summerween or uh, like summer horrors summer thrillers if you have any summer horror books please let me know because i want some like really good scary horrors like that will literally screw me up for life but yeah so thank you so much for watching i really hope that you've enjoyed and i'll see you very very soon bye bye